We're going to start with a style of stencil that's more simple. And this is where you draw your image. We're going to do a tree right here because it's, it's pretty simple and hard to make mistakes because trees <laughs> can look however they want. But the main object is to just make sure that every line and every shape connects. So, watch me as I do that. Now I'm going to color in some of my shapes as I go along. But they're all going to be connected. coloring in your stencil. Now you don't have to color it in. I colored it in to just give you a visual of, of what the stencil will be. So once you've, you've drawn out your stencil, then just cut it out and you've got a stencil. So this is one that we've done where the positive space, the positive, which is the black, um, is one continuous line. Every shape is connected to another. There's no free floating shapes. So now I'm going to show you um, how to do the opposite, where your negative space, or the white, will be where the continuous line is. So we just do the opposite of what we did here, and that's where every shape we do will be free-floating or standing on its own and not connected to another piece. So I'll just show you. Let's, let's draw a zebra. So. Okay, I, as you can see, I cut out all of the stencils that I drew, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Here's an example of something that you can do with the stencils, and you can watch this video. I'll put a link right where my finger is pointing. I'll also put one in the about column below um, of how to do these shaving cream prints. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You can turn just about anything into a stencil if you're just creative enough. Uh, share with us on Facebook, Her Art from the Attic, what you did and the projects that you made. We'd love to see them. Subscribe. We've got lots of art tutorials, lots coming, and we've got a nice little YouTube art community and Facebook art community, and we'd love to have you be a part of it. Thanks guys, have a nice day. Bye. Oh, also follow this link right here and check out our children's YouTube channel. It's got lots of stuff, even if you don't have kids, there's lots of fun stuff you can learn. All right, bye for reals this time.